Hi guys, it's Corrine here. Today I'm going to take you through the foundations of a handstand, or building up towards a handstand. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to warm up for a handstand. We need to get some mobility around the wrist because we're going to start shifting some weight into that area. We're not really used to stretching this area, so I'm going to show you how to do that first. I'm also going to show you how to get a bit more mobility in the shoulders. And I'm going to show you the correct positioning as well. So things that will help support a strong handstand. So I've got Donna here, who's going to be um, showing you the demonstrations as I talk you through how we build up to that handstand. There's going to be some drills involved that you can do on a day-to-day -day basis and you will get stronger over time. So first of all, we're going to come up onto a tabletop position, so hands and knees on the mat, shoulders over the wrist. We're going to work into some cat cows. On the inhale, we're going to lift the crown of the head, drop the belly, raise the sit bones. Exhale, drop the head, arch the back, look towards the navel. And again, we're going to inhale, raise the crown of the head, drop the belly. Lift the sit bones and exhale, drop the head, arch the back, tuck the pelvis in, look towards the navel. And repeat. Just getting some mobility in the spine. So again, coming back into our tabletop position, we're gonna work in some circles on the wrist. So hands planted firmly onto the ground. And we're slowly gonna move five times around to the left. And then we're gonna do the same thing over to the right. So moving our body in circles around the wrists five times. And then we're going to move back and forth, so really starting to shift that weight into the hands, into the wrists, and coming back almost into child's pose, and repeating. Again, doing that five times. And then we're going to turn the hands around, pointing the fingertips towards the knees. And move back and forth again. And just working into any tension in the wrist joints. And then take the hands out side to side, fingers pointing outwards. And we're just going to shift the weight of the body side to side. You can take any movements you kind of want really. If you feel tension, work into it, get intuitive with the body. And then lastly, we turn the hands upside down, so the backs of the hands to the mat. And just again, working into some movement back and forth. And now if you have one, take hold of your blocks. So we're going to take the blocks now. 
and just work on getting a little bit more mobility on the shoulders. You want the shoulders to come into this position. So if you've got tight shoulders, tight back, or you've got bridge muscles here, it might be a little bit restrictive. You might struggle to get them into this position, especially when we're trying to contract in the back. We do both things at the same time. So we really want to try and get a little bit of mobility in that shoulder. So this is a good exercise for that. So I'm just going to get Donna to demonstrate here. If you just lie down on the chest, we're going to take one arm behind and we're going to bring one arm on top of this block. We're going to press down and we're going to take the cheek towards the floor. So we're getting a really nice stretch in the shoulder. Today, guys, I'm going to take you now through a couple of drills uh, for the foundations of handstands. So the first one that I'm going to do is a handstand hold. Now generally you would be doing this against a wall. I'm going to act as Donna's wall today. And what we're going to do is take you through five sets of handstand holds. Like I said, you would usually be doing this against a wall. The way we're going to do this is we're going to do it for 30 second holds with a 30 second rest. Now you can do a few things within that rest. You can either learn to, to work into some stretches or you can come straight down into child's pose if, this, if that's been quite taxing for you on the arms. But we want to do five rounds of this. Ultimately, you want to build the rounds up. So if you're doing 30 seconds first, see if you can get to 45 second holds. Ultimately, we want to try and get to a minute hold. So you'd be doing five rounds of one minute holds and you'd maybe increase the rest time in between to one minute as well. So I'm going to take you through this now with Donna. And at the same time, I'm going to show you how to correct and get good form whilst you're in that handstand as well, or good alignment. So we can keep strong handstands and you're more likely to be able to hold when you're off the wall. So I'm going to ask Donna to get down into the down row position. We'll have a 10 second rest before we go into the rounds. Like I said, we've got five seconds of 30 second rounds. I'm going to act as the wall, so you will be doing this at home against the wall. And I'll be making corrections both Donna's in that to see if we can get sort of better alignment. And so when we come off the wall, we should be able to hold it for a little bit longer. So we've got 10 seconds. 
So that is the first round of drills done. Like I said, if you can get to five sets, that would be great. Um, and that was the 30 second kick-ups against a wall. And like I say, we'd want to increase that to 45 seconds and then hopefully to a minute. You want a minute hold against the wall. And you'll see a progression really, really quickly. You know, you may feel like your arms are getting really tired. As soon as they do, just drop out of it, come into child's pose, do it again. And you'll, you'll see progression very, very quickly. The second drill that we're going to work through is just kick up. So you'd come up into a downward dog position. Donna again is going to show you the demonstration. Um, and we want to do this five times and we want to do three rounds of this, okay? And we want to do that on both legs. So I'm going to show you how to do that here. Now, Donna's going to be in a downward dog position. You're going to have one leading leg. So let's say now we're going to take the right leg. So that's the position that you want to be in. We're going to call this the acceleration, okay? So this is the leg that's going to come up first. And let's call this the brake pedal, okay? So this is the one that's going to be your lever to bring you back down. I really like this one because it means that you, you're less likely to go over. So in a handstand, you can always be a little bit nervous about falling, and generally it's falling in that way, and it's scary. If we can use this one leg as the lever to keep you down towards the earth, then it's a little less scary, okay? And as we get further into the drills, you may want to close the gap and just bring the legs closer together into a handstand position. So like I said, we're going to do five kickups and then we're going to come down. We're going to do three sets on each leg. And we'll be in this position to make sure that Donna doesn't come over. But like I said, use my leg as a lever Thank you. 
then we've got the acceleration, we've got the brake pedal. Um, I heard that used before and I thought it was absolutely perfect because that last leg is just really holding you back from tipping over. But this time we're going to try and draw that leg in. I'm going to leave it behind so it's a bit of a delay between the, the first leg and the leg that's closest to the ground. So there's still a bit of a delay, but what you're trying to do is close the gap. So we're coming up almost into a full handstand. But again, we're not catapulting ourselves over straight away. So again, we're going to do five kick-ups on each leg. So Don's going to come into a down bow position again. Let's leave with the left leg. So if you take the left leg up nice and high, point the toes. Again, we're going to kick the kick up and use the other leg as a lever, but this time we're going to try and bridge the gap. Two, nice. Three, so you can bridge the gap. Four, nice. And again, a little bit of momentum. Five, come down. Take a child's pose. And we can maybe try that three to five times, whatever feels comfortable. And let's go again. Left leg nice and high, on the toe. One, two. So you can bridge that gap a little bit more. Three, perfect. And again, try to do that. Remember all the things you said. One more time. Set, that's absolutely fine. 
Just do to what you can do within the rounds. Stick to the rounds though, because in time, you will be able to do that, I promise you. And you'll see that very, very quickly as well. Um, let us know how you're getting on. Make sure to subscribe, because we will be uploading more videos. This is the foundations to the inversions. We'll kind of keep building on that. Um, and maybe just get a little bit more challenging, give you a few more tips here and there uh, to really start to build the strength up into full inversions.